everyone and welcome to my video. My name's Emma and today we're going to be looking at how to change the rear bulbs, the tail lights on the VW Polo. So we've just turned the lights on on the car to identify which bulb we need to be replacing and we can see there the right hand side is really well lit up and the left hand side is completely in darkness so we're able to identify that that's where our bulb's going to be that we need to be changing. So we can get on with that now. So when we come to change the rear light in the VW Polo, there's a couple of easy steps that need to be followed. First of all, we need to undo this cap here, and that just twists so that we can then pull this flap here free. And then everything that we need to get to is accessible here. So we've got this large pin here, and then we've got our connectors here. Now if you read the manual, it tells you to release the connectors first, and then to undo the pin but I actually find it really quite difficult you can see there's not a lot of space in there to actually get them connectors off it's so the way that I prefer to do it and I find it a lot easier and it's perfectly safe is to release this pin first that way you can just push the lights out a tiny little bit or at least you've not got this big pin in your way and then it's very easy to release the connector then before you then take the full light unit off and that's what we're going to do so we're going to start by just releasing this, just untwisting it, really straight easy. Get your hands in there really nicely just to be able to untwist it. It's quite a long pin, it does come quite a way out. And actually you can see there that the lights are just starting to become a little bit loose. Now take that pin, it's really long, you need to push it towards the front of the car first before then you can bring it back round, obviously making sure that you don't drop it. And now I've got nice easy access towards the connectors here. And hopefully you'll be able to see but there's a clip, a little lever at the top and there's also one at the bottom and what you're looking to do is just to squeeze them together and then that unit will then pull out. A little bit of waggling and you can see there that it's released so I can get a decent picture. You can see there that you've got the clip. Let's find something to point at it. You've got this clip here Oops. and then you've got one down here and then as you squeeze them together you can then just hook your finger just here stay still put your finger just on this bit to then pull it out and then that's free and it's out your way and you've already released the pin which is a lot easier in my opinion than trying to do it the way that the book tells you to do okay so we've loosened the wires we've taken the pin off now it's a case of pulling this light fitting out like that and then as you can see, we're then actually able to access whereabouts the bulbs are. And these are quite easy to release from this stage. Now that we've got the light fitting out, there's four tabs that you need to move. One here, another one here, third one here, and the fourth one in there. All of those need to be pushed out so that they release from the surrounding. So we'll push them all out. And then you can see that your bulb holder, make sure they're all off then comes off and then there we are nice and easy we can now access the bulbs and change the bulb that's needed. We've got two bulbs that need to be changed we've got this one here in the middle which is really straightforward pull out, collect your new bulb and slot straight back in and then we've got this top one here because none of the lights of the back bit were working and we simply push it down twist it round anti-clockwise take your bulb out you can see possibly there that the wire is, has gone. Collect your new bulb, popping it back in, pushing down gently and then twisting it clockwise so it locks itself in place and then that there is your bulb's change. Simply going to slot it back into place, make sure the bulbs go in and then it should, just nice and gentle, clip back in so that all of those clips are in place. That's it. Just give it a little push in, and we can see there all the clips are back in, all four, and now it's just a case of popping it back into the car. Line it back in is really quite straightforward. Just line it in there, making sure it sits nice and flush in, and then just give it a little push so everything's in place, and then it's just a case of connecting everything back up inside. So now that the lights are back on, we're going to connect the connector back on first. So pop this bit onto here first before we go ahead and put the big pin back into there because that's a lot easier. So here we get on. We 
can see that it just clicks itself back into place and that's it back in really nicely and we can always check that once we've got that pin in so now I'm going to put the pin back into place so it's this large pin that goes into the hole and that tightens up to then secure the lights back into place so it's actually easier to kind of just push it towards the back uh, towards the front of the car sorry so that you can then line it in push it all the way in and then just tighten it up and if everything's lined up nicely that should just lock into place that's happening quite easily there you go just tightening it up nice and tight turns it quite a bit actually so that's in nice and tight and then we can just double check give the wires a little push make sure they're in fully which they are and then close the little pocket up the final thing to do now is just to turn the lights on and check that we're working and we can see there that everything's fine so thank you for watching my video i hope you found it really useful um the easy technique and slightly different to what the manual suggests just so that you can actually get that full access to where you need to get to and um, if you did like it please give us a like thumbs up um drop me a comment down below or maybe even subscribe across to us um, or have a look at some of the other videos, kind of the how-to videos on the VW Polo. Thanks very much for watching. Bye now.